Hello there and welcome to PGA Tour 2K21. My name is John and my job is to get you swinging that club like a pro in as little time as possible. Let's crack into it. To begin your swing, push and hold the left mouse button and pull back. When a golfer reaches the top of their backswing, push the mouse forward to swing. Make sure you keep holding that mouse button throughout the swing. That's the stuff. After each shot, you will get feedback as to how accurate your shot was in the bottom right-hand corner. In the middle of that circle, there's a white stripe, and that is your swing plane, and that is where your swing needs to live. The more difficult the shot, the more narrow your swing plane. Nice work. And you're also going to receive feedback on your swing timing, and that's the meter that kind of wraps around the top of your swing accuracy indicator. Your back swing, that was well done. Congratulations, you've got the basics down, Pat. Can't wait to see you use some of these lessons. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about one of the most important skills you can have at your disposal, and that is putting. Okay, to begin your putt, hold that left mouse button. That's what we're looking for. The putt weight is how hard you hit your putt. To set your putt weight, move the aim marker towards or away from you. The further away from you the marker is, the stronger your putt will be. Since this is a downhill putt, we we'll want to ease up on our... Well done on that lesson. Those moving dots on the grid are telling us that your putt is going to break to the right, so you're going to have to aim to the left to compensate. To move your aim marker, you're going to want to use the WASD keys or the arrow keys on your keyboard. To sync this putt, press the A button or the left arrow button to move your A marker a little bit to the left to compensate for the break. Hmm, not, not quite there, is it? Let's try again. Not quite, uh, let's reset, try again. Good job, that's what we're looking for. And with that, you are ready to tear it up out there on the gr Hello and welcome to this lesson where we will talk about clubs and shot types. I am going to show you how to make the most of what's in your golf bag with a few simple tricks. Okay, so for this shot, you're hitting into the wind. This means you are going to have to club up, or in other words, use a longer club. So let's press the change club key until you get to the pitching wedge, then just pop this shot onto the green. Well, you've got that one down. Now it's only a matter of time before you find yourself in a situation where the normal shot type is just not gonna do. Now to get on the green from here, you are gonna need a chip shot. So let's press the change shot type button until you get to the chip shot and then chip that ball nice and close to the pin with your next stroke. Good job on that one. Information about the current lie of your ball is available always in the top right corner of the screen. This will give you a range of how much spin and power your shot will retain, and then you can use that info to adjust your shot accordingly. For this particular situation, let's change our club to the sand wedge, and then change our shot type to a splash shot, which is a great shot for getting out of these greenside bunkers. After that, give that swing a go. See if you can stick it close. Oops. All right, that didn't pan out. Let's give it another go. And let's just go ahead and try that again, okay? Well, not quite. Let's try that again. Well, you've got the hang of this one. And now that you know a thing or two about shot types, 
I'd encourage you to <coughs> keep on trucking with these lessons and get into some more advanced stuff, because I think you're ready for it. Hello there, and welcome to the lesson on advanced shots. In this lesson, we're going to learn about techniques you're going to want to master if you want to compete with the pros. Let's begin. In this situation, we are going to need to take a partial swing. If you chip this with full power, it's going to blow right by the hole. So we are going to have to move our aim marker closer to us to compensate. Move the aim marker a little bit closer to you. See if you can get about a 75% power chip. And then use the back swing meter at the bottom of your screen to dial in the proper strength for this chip. Let's uh, just go ahead and give that another try. Well, no need to linger on this lesson. Manually adjusting the loft of your shots is going to help you get that ball closer to your target. The catch here is that changing your loft also increases the difficulty of your shot. While holding the true shot key, hold the right mouse button and drag the mouse up or use up on the keyboard to increase your spin and dynamic loft on the shot. Land this shot near the cup. Your increased loft is going to give that shot a little backspin. It's going to keep that ball from rolling off the green. Great work. Looks like you've got the hang of that. Applying a fade or a draw to your shot can really open up some stroke-saving shortcuts. And you guessed it, this will also increase the difficulty of your shot. While holding, we'll chalk that one up as a success. This is the end of the advanced shots tutorial. Well, this is where we part ways, my young Padawan. All that's left for you is to choose a difficulty level and then customize your golfer in the my player menu if you want have fun and i'll see you out there on the links
2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. It's time to get underway, so let's get into the coverage of this exciting event. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, what's it like to compete in this nerve-wracking affair? Luke, all the players in this field want one thing and one thing only, and that is their Corn Ferry Tour card. It's a massive accomplishment. Let's see how this all shakes out. The top 50 on the leaderboard will get their card. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Second shot here on the first. Needs this one to kick right. And not a bad approach. He'll be putting. 13 feet to the hole. This one's tracking. Oh, what a way to build momentum early. Absolutely. You love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Getting off to a great start at this event. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Luke, coming off a birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. That's a good-looking shot there. The interesting choice of the driver here. And here we are with the third shot. Well struck. This one's for birdie. Ooh, nice line. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. He's currently tied for 13. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. We have a par three on this one. Going with a three wood here. Well, oh, that's beautifully judged. Seven feet to the cup. This one's looking good. This is a par putt. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Currently one under for the round. And now teeing off on this par four hole. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. That should find the cut stuff. From about 200 yards out, three strokes off the lead. Going with the five wood. That's well played. Pin high. This putt 
is for a spot inside the top 10. It's got a chance. A well hold, he'll take the birdie. And that will take him to two under. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Teeing off here at the fifth. Good looking shot this. From about 130 yards here, three behind our leader. Going with the eight iron here. Come on, sit. Nicely done. Now, this is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And that should secure the par. Well done. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Not a bad line, this one. Second shot here on the sixth. This looks to be heading to the green. Now a quality shot, that. Already had a few birdies today. This for another. And this putt to move into the top five. Big chance here. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the videotape. Good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Gives a good chance to maintain the momentum. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Second shot here on the seventh. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. Okay, steady now. And this putt to move into a tie for second. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. He's currently tied for second. It's time to begin this powerful hole. That'll work, that's fine. Sitting at four under for the day. Currently tied for second.
Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Gee, I wish I could play like this myself. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Butting for birdie. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And that will take him to five under. He's currently in a share of top spot. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. This player's got some lovely momentum coming off a birdie at the last. Going with the hybrid. Oh, lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the ninth. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. And that part will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will take him to six under. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. Well, keep your hands to yourself. But yes, this player is definitely dialed in at the moment. Well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Coming off a string of four birdies. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. This one's for bogey. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Teeing off here at the 11. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Interesting choice of the driver here. Oh, that was pure. Getting ready to play their third. Nicely done. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Hey, that's a chance and with that putt he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot and that will move him to six under par and after that hole he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard oh and they increase their lead this is impressive Luke but can they hold up this play Not bad. Playing from around 190 yards out. Wind is blowing from right to left here. Wants to work it against the wind. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Out a boy, good shot. All right, John, how's this putt looking? This looks like around 29 feet. It was on a good line. There's a part of about six feet coming up. Good-looking putt. 
And in it goes for the par. Leading by a shot after that hole. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Playing from around 110 yards out. They need to flight this one down into the wind. This one might roll into the rough. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Let's see if we can make this. Keep the par on the card. Oh, what a stroke. That's well hold. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Opting for the three wood. This one needs to kick left. Second shot here on the 14. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. He's currently sitting in first place. This hole's a tough two-shotter, a long par four. Oh, that is crushed. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. Opting for the hybrid, I think. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. If it's up, it could be in. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. With just a small sliver of a lead, this could go any different direction down the stretch. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Where did that come from? That's not his style. Yeah, this lies pretty deep here. Well, that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. Oh, good look at Birdie here. That was a gallant attempt. Putting for par. And well hold. Let's move on. Currently at seven under for the day. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Par threes are always fun. See if he can knock it close. Opting for the five wood. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. This is from miles away. A bit long on that one. Five feet coming up to the cup. Looks good off the blade. Good putt, that.
and after that performance they'll stay right where they are in the standings and this player now tees off on their final hole of the event tied for the lead this looks to be a fairway seeker to me second shot here at the 18th Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. This is always a good moment. A putt to win the tournament. Go in. What an effort that is, winning Q School and what's a pressure-packed tournament. Yes, hats off, but listen, I, it really doesn't matter, Luke. You finish first or you finish 25th, you still get your tour card. You still have an amazing opportunity next year. Yes, winning it does, does get you into a few more events at the beginning of the year, but you better play your way into the next part of the year because of the reshuffle. Hats off to the winner, but hats off to all the players getting through. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby and Rich Bean, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.